Hello, good day. Welcome back to our course. So for today, we'll be studying a uh, group by using uh, pandas. So I've already import this two directives. Let me import our data set. I will just uh, copy paste this one. So we have uh, sets of uh, dictionaries. Uh, with branches as column, employee, and sales with a specific value. I'm creating a data frame out of a dictionary. df equals pd data frame of our existing dictionary. So this is our data. We have a branches column. We have uh, five stores. Each uh, stores have uh, specific uh, employees so store one store one store two then there are specific sales so what we would do here is that we will use uh, the group by if you are uh, familiar with the structure query language or the sql having uh, ag aggregate functions this one is uh, similar. So for example, our data frame, then we will use a uh, group by, then we have a specific uh, parameter of by. Uh, this indicates what uh, column to group by. So for example, we have branches. If I execute this one, it will give us a group by a generic data frame uh, with object at this are the memory storage. So how about we assign this one as by branch is equivalent to group by. Then by branches, technically the same as above. Then let's see what is a by branch. So the same. So we just assign this to a specific variable. So we are using group by because we want to aggregate values. So for example, we got uh, aggregation functions. So for example, is we will use the the mean. So if I do this one, so by branch dot uh, mean. So technically. We are grouping the values of uh, the sales and in each specific store. So for store 1, we have 237. Up to store 5, we have 433. So we have an uh, employee column, but we, we, can, we were not able to aggregate this one because this one have uh, different uh, employee names. But in terms of branches, they are similar in terms of store. So store one, if you try to manually add this one, so 300 plus 175 is 475. So this one. Plus, uh, we divide it by two because we want the mean. So what are some aggregation functions? So we can also do this one. This one is mean. We can also do summation. This one is sum. So for example, by branch, then how about uh, sum? So we will able to aggregate values too. So these are the sum of the sales. But technically, you, you want to use this one as a one line. In one line so using uh, one line so please do this one I recommend this one so df dot group by and let's say branches we sum this one so we got aggregate function in order to group this one by technically the same as the above but I recommend this one this df uh, group by uh, in one line so if you are interested in specific uh, store only, so for example, 
So if you are interested only on one specific, when I say specific, you want to display only, for example, a single store, but you sum this one, for example. So let me copy this one. So you will do a group by branches that sum dot. You can use the LOC. So for example, I'm interested only in store 3. So store 3 is uh, 900. So if you are interested in two specific, so let me copy this one. So two specifics. So you can also use this one. So LOC, since these are two specifics now. So how about store, store 3 and store 5? So shift enter. So as you can see, uh, we are only displaying here the value of uh, aggregate summation for branches of uh, store 3 and store 5. So other useful aggregate function, for example, so other useful aggregation function so you can also use the count so df dot uh, group by so let's group by branches then we use the count function so this counts the number of uh, entities uh, in store so this time as you can see uh, we can now aggregate the number of employees so we can count so store one has two employees so of course if you have two employees you have uh, two sales so that's the meaning so we were able to aggregate the values because we're counting the number of employees so you can also use the max using aggregate so you can also use the max so for example df dot group by so we group by branches so these are optional only if you want the by uh, parameter. So by branches, then what what is the maximum? So for store one, the maximum sales is three hundred by this specific employee. So for store two, so two hundred fifty. So you can also use the min, the minimum. So let's use the min. So these are the minimum values in terms of sales. So maximum, then we have a specific uh, minimum. So if you are interested in sorting values, if you are interested in sorting uh, values, specifically let's do uh, ascending ascending first so what you will do is this one df dot sort values these are not aggregation but uh, these are uh, just additional information so you sort by sales so we are sorting here by sales in terms of ascending so as you can see we have uh, 120 175 200 to 600 so how about you sort this one in descending order? So you can also do that by providing uh, additional uh, parameter. So such as this one, ascending false. So you would do this one. So ascending is equivalent to, for example, is false. So are we going ascending? So if ascending is false, so technically this is descending. So from 600 down to 120. So 120 to 600, if you did not provide the ascending parameter, it will sort in ascending fashion. And if you provide the ascending value, it will uh, sort in ascend, uh, descending order. Okay, so... You can also combine this one with group by. So for example, you have uh, this case. So group by plus you want to uh, sort specific values. 
So group by, then uh, we have to sort. So you can do this one. So the df dot group by. So in terms of branches, then this is the aggregation function. Then we can chain the function. So for example, I want to sort. So these are optional only. The by, if you want, so you can do sales. Then, for example, uh, ascending equals false. So we are aggregating here by branches using the sum. Then after this one, we are sorting the values of sales in descending order. Okay, so you can identify this one that uh, store 5 has the highest sales among the stores. So what? You can also do this one. So let me copy this one. So we got sort values. If you want with uh, specific columns or specific uh, store, then you can do at the end, you can do the LOC. So for example, we have a store one. We're interested in store one. The, the sales for store one and store two. So as you can see, we have store one and store two. So but but uh, we can also use the describe method, which is a uh, very detailed. We can also use the describe in terms of aggregations. For example, df group by branches. We got uh, describe. Okay. So this one is a very detailed uh, aggregation. So the number of uh, sales in terms of store one is two. The average is 237, as you can see. The standard deviation in each store is from 88 to 152. The minimum value is 175 for store one, 300 for store five. The maximum sales for store two is 250. And for store for S three hundred, so you use describe if you want to uh, get uh, some details of your data in terms of uh, grouping. So if you do not want the presentation just like this, you can also since this is a data frame. Remember, you can transpose this one. So if uh, you do not want the presentation. Use alternative, so you use a uh, transpose. So df dot uh, group by got uh, branches, and how about we describe this one too? So describe, then we transpose this one. So if you do not want the presentation just like this, and you want the store value at the column instead of the index so you can do transpose okay so this this is the same with this one okay there are many approach when using a uh, transpose in python so technically that is the same okay so how about we combine this one so for example you want a group by plus you want uh, to describe the data frame plus you want the transpose plus you want uh, specifics so we combine this one so for example I copy this one so I'll copy this one so you want a specific so what you can do is dot describe dot loc so how about I'm interested with store 3 and store 5 then I will transpose this one. So you are grouping by here by branches using the describe. Then I only want store three and store five, then I'll transpose. So you can do this one. So store three and store five with the describe. So also as an alternative, so there are many alternative code here. Also an alternative. So you can uh First transpose this one, then find the specific location. So for example, uh, you have grouping 
branches you are describing how about the next one is we transpose then we are interested in two specific so store three and store five so just the same same as this one this one is first is loc this one is first is transpose so you cannot use that loc here so remember so what what is your approach is uh the, it it depends to you what what approach do you want but these two are possible so you can also use rank if you want to rank uh, aggregation so using rank so for example so df dot group by branches then sum then you can also use ranking so for example so in terms of sales so the number two store has the is first store two is second store of, uh, four is three then fourth then fifth so you can also do this one uh, using rank plus uh, for example this is uh, descending so it has a built-in uh, ranking mechanism for descending and ascending so ascending is false so this one for example so we got uh, four uh, five two three one okay so we can rank this one so we, we have four five two three one but if i want to rank uh in terms of uh sorting values for example this one is we rank this one in descending order okay so descending order means that uh, this is the fifth this one five four three two one the first one is uh, ascending so store one has the store two has the lowest because we are ranking here in ascending okay so let me just take this one this one is uh, for ascending okay so you can also use rank plus you sort the values so you can do this one combination of rank and sort value so df dot group by got uh, branches uh, sum then rank then we interest we are interested in descending descending ranking plus we want to sort the values in terms of sales so this one so store 5 has the highest sales without seeing the specific value of sales so store 2 second store 4 third store one fourth then store two is fifth so if you want to confirm this one so df dot group by so in terms of branches then sum you want to sort the values by sales then by sales you want uh, ascending equals false so let me just confirm the ranking so in terms of a uh, descending so 1300 that's first so 900 two so store four third 500 store one fourth with 475 and the least number of uh, amount of sales store two which is fifth so this is uh, how you can do a uh, group by this is a uh, very much uh, the group by mechanism in python which is a uh, very useful so you use uh, the group by so as a review you do not only use group by but you provide uh, aggregation function so for the next lecture we will be studying about uh, merging and concatenating of uh, data frames in pandas so see you at the next lecture